Devil's Claw is the sequel uh, to my last book, which is To Wake the Giant, which was about Pearl Harbor. Uh, historically, uh, the sequel to Pearl Harbor is the Battle of Midway. Um, Pearl Harbor, frankly, we lose. I mean, that, that, that's a terrible defeat for the United States. Midway, we win. Uh, we, we turn it around and it changes the entire war in the Pacific. It's a story that Hollywood has done sometimes better than others. Uh, but a lot of people don't really know exactly what happened. And that's, that's my job, is to try to get into the research and to tell the story the way it happened. And Midway is an extraordinary story, both from the point of view of the, the admirals, the, the generals, all the way down to uh, the, the pilots and the, the Marines uh, on Midway itself. And it's, that's, that's what I try to put together as a story that tells all of the story. Well, Pearl Harbor and Midway in the Pacific, I mean, that starts the war. It brings the United States into the war for the first time. Uh, it's dramatic far beyond the fact that, you know, you know, it just brings us into the war. It's dramatic because of the loss of life, because of the fact that Pearl Harbor is a catastrophe for the United States, something we've never experienced before. Uh, and then, of course, leading into Midway, which, as I, as I said, is the sequel, Midway uh, turns it around. Midway changes the whole flow of the war. The Japanese pretty much can do what they want in the Pacific and, and, and do so uh, until Midway. And Midway changes all of that. They lose four of their principal aircraft carriers. And that, in, in essence, it destroys their ability to wage an offensive war with their Navy. That whole change affects the entire United States and then ultimately it affects the entire world. The main characters of the Eagle's Claw, first of all, on the Japanese side, uh, you've got Iso Yamamoto, who comes back from uh, To Wake the Giant, the, the commander of the Japanese Navy, whose um, plans, he's the one who engineers the, the attack on Pearl Harbor. Well, now he's at it again. And his idea is we didn't do enough at Pearl Harbor. It's time to, to take out Midway. And in doing so, take out the American aircraft carriers, which were missed at Pearl Harbor. Um, so he's a, a, a hugely important character on the Japanese side. On the American side, you start, I, I like to go from the top down. So you have Admiral Chester Nimitz, uh, who is the man in command of the American Navy in the Pacific at Pearl Harbor. Uh, and then down from him, you've got, you go down to the pilots, uh, these young men who are flying off the, the Yorktown, an aircraft carrier, which by the way, I can't imagine doing that myself. Uh, and you've got, you know, they're, they're the ones who deliver the load. I mean, they're the ones who, who are responsible for what happens. Uh, and then you've also got, well, you got a Marine on Midway, um, and he, a, a gunnery sergeant. Uh, who is responsible for, you know, the machine guns and, and the fear that the Japanese are going to invade the island of Midway. They don't, which, but nobody knows that and, until a couple of days later. But then the single most important character in the book is Joe Rochefort. Joe Rochefort is a code breaker, and he's the man responsible for figuring out the Japanese code and what it is that they're going to do and without him, uh, it very, very well would have been a different battle. 